are wounded! We need a medic over here! I'm telling you, I saw something. Sergeant, we're outnumbered, and they keep bringing more wounded. We don't stand a chance. We have to evacuate. Is Alvin still there? He is, sir. Then we're not leaving. We have to bring him back and see what the hell is going on with those defenses, and brief Commander Baron on what's happening here. I'm moving out. You stay here with the wounded. You want me to break the radio silence? At this point, it doesn't matter, does it? Understood. Go ahead, sir. Follow me. We have to reach those defense systems. Yes, sir. Spiders up ahead. Got it. Lead the way. This way. Good to see you, Sergeant. What's the status? We've got a defensive perimeter set up just down the road. Doesn't seem to be working. Skynet dropped reinforcements behind their back. Now they're between a rock and a hard place. All right, we need to reach our guys. Let's clear the way.
this! Go find the dark! Oh my god, I'm actually glad to see you. What happened here? Why are the defense systems not working? They are working, but their target filtering has been reset to non-hostile. One of Baron's messengers came with the order to temporarily change it, so I did. Baron's messengers. We need to leave now. Yes, let's do that. I'm all for that. Are you all right? We need to move. You don't have to tell me twice. Escort secured. Oh my god, I'm actually glad to see you. What happened here? Why are the defense systems not working? They are working, but their target filtering has been reset to non-hostile. One of Baron's messengers came with the order to temporarily change it, so I did. Baron's messengers, we need to leave now. Yes, let's do that. I'm all for that. Are you all right? We need to move. You don't have to tell me twice. Escort secured. I don't like this! I don't like any of this! Ariel! Okay, go! It's turning around! It's right behind us! Don't look back! Good idea! You go talk to Commander Baron. I've had enough excitement for one day. Lay still. Thanks for getting us out of there, Sergeant. What's up? I know you're busy, but I found something. Something I think you'll like. A tape from back in the day. I want to play it for you, but my boombox is busted, so... Uh, 
If you're out there and find one that works, bring it to me, okay? Can't you ask Jennifer or one of the other scavengers for help? I already did, but they couldn't find anything. Just think about it, okay? Jacob. What's in your mind? Ever since you asked me about Peter, I can't stop thinking about him. Like a teenage girl. <laughs> That's your fault, young man. Have you tried looking for him? I've looked for him for a while. I went to the place where we said we'd meet if we ever got separated. But he wasn't there. Maybe it's stupid. Maybe I should stop thinking about him. He's... he's probably dead by now. God knows he can't take care of himself. Do you want to find him? Sometimes I think I should drop everything and go. I would get an earful from Baron, but she's nothing I can't handle. Anyway, what I didn't tell you before is that during Judgment Day, I lost a child. Our child. I don't know if it would have happened anyway, but I like to blame the machines for that. I think that Peter felt, with Taylor, we were given a second chance. God, he's still out there waiting for me, isn't he? Probably sitting in his rocking chair back in our house in Hollywood Hills. Oh, where the hell are you, Peter? How are the wounded doing? The few that came back, they're doing fine. We patched them up, and at this point, we're just sitting and waiting. Rivers, you want to explain to me what the hell happened? We lost downtown. I know that much. But how's that possible? What happened to our defense systems? Alvin says one of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non-lethals. He said what? Ah, all right. This is what I want you to do. Find whoever is responsible for sending that order. All the messengers have GPS tracking, so we're keeping tabs on their location. Find them and bring them to me. Understood. And Rivers, despite what I might say about our resident egghead, I truly have a hard time believing that my men are incompetent. So expect the unexpected. And you know what I mean by that. Do you think the Infiltrator's back? We won't be sure until you find those messengers and confirm my suspicion. As soon as you know what's going on, radio me. Who's Perry? You mentioned him before. The best soldier I ever fought beside. He was the one who brought me into the Resistance. <laughs> it's actually a funny story. Years ago, when I was just a kid, I saw a Skynet drone attacking some guy. Without thinking, I grabbed a rock and jumped on it. The guy was screaming the whole time while I beat the metal to the ground. Only when I was done did I realize he was trying to stop me. You killed a drone with a rock? Uh, I was young and stupid. Thank God the drone wasn't really armed, otherwise I wouldn't be here to tell you the story. He was a resistance scientist, and that drone was one of his projects. So you can imagine, he wasn't too happy when I smashed it to pieces. But he wasn't alone. There was this huge guy with a rifle on his shoulder, almost choking with laughter. I sure made his day. That huge guy? Was that Perry? Yes, it was. Commander Perry was in charge of this division before me. That scientist later told me that was the first time he ever heard Perry laugh. Somehow, Perry and I connected. He taught me how to channel my anger and get it under control. He introduced me to Connor, and that's how I got to the 132nd. Whatever happened to the scientist? Huh. He was always doing his experiments, trying to outsmart Skynet. One day he fucked up, and because of that he's no longer with us. I'd never thought I'd be reminiscing about the day I met them. This may come as a surprise to you, but it was the first medal I ever destroyed. Sounds like you were late in joining the Destroy Skynet campaign. 
Before that, it was people, not machines. But that's a different story. You want me to break radio silence? They have a head start on us. At this point, we can't afford to lose any time. Hey, <laughs> glad to see you alive. Hey, thanks for sticking your neck out for us. I wanted to tell you that, you know, just in case. <laughs> huh, wasn't expecting to find you here. You always seem to be out these days. Yeah, that's true. Lately, I've been making extra runs to stock up on resources. The truth is, I was even thinking about leaving. But right now, I'm just waiting for my team to head back to downtown to look for other survivors. Let's hope there still are some. Is there something on your mind? Actually, I have a secret to tell you. You have a fan. Patrick really looks up to you. It's good for him to have a role model. And I don't think he could have chosen better. I don't think I'd make for a good role model. <laughs> I never knew Jacob Rivers could be so coy. Be proud, you're a hero. The Resistance owes you a lot. And so do I. If you hadn't found us back in Pasadena, I don't know what would have happened. Well, actually I do exactly what the others said would happen. People were talking about the Annihilation Line months before it came. My father, of course, tried to turn it all into a joke. But what did you think about it? I didn't know what to think. Travelers would bring all sorts of gossip with them. But this kept coming back. When Patrick asked me if I was scared, I lied and said that I wasn't. You could feel the mood change at the house. The community my father tried to build started falling apart. Fewer and fewer people were coming by. And if they did, they weren't always friendly. We started to notice things going missing. Little things at first. People got nervous. And with time, it even got to my father. Well, for one thing, he stopped making jokes. It had never been as quiet at the house as it had been back then. After a while, my father changed the sign from welcome to beware. He put a lock on the door and started carrying a shotgun. I didn't even know he owned a gun. He always said he didn't believe in them. I wanted us to leave our house and run, but he didn't want to listen. Said it was the only place he could keep us safe. Thanks for letting me spill my guts like that. I see that Patrick's doing better. He is. He's a fighter. Certainly has more courage than I do. Why did you want to leave? In the face of what's going on now, it will sound stupid, but... It just got to be a bit much, you know? With Patrick hurt, I start to wonder if I'm even doing him any good by sticking around. I've been trying to protect him all this time, but I couldn't proven that much already. First in Pasadena, then at our hideout. I was thinking that maybe he'd be safer here at the shelter. But don't worry, I changed my mind since. Okay, I'm safe. 
seen two GPS trackers. Who should be our guys? More plasma containers. Looks like Skynet's here for good. Flamethrower? If I could get close enough to take a picture...
enough needs to be perfect.
Sounds right. Skynet's listening. Time to look for the second tracker. Stairs. Who left this here? It's probably a trap. Worth it, Ryan. That's where the outpost used to be. Oh, the destroying it slowed them down. Another 
another storage facility. If I take care of it, that might slow them down a little. Got to be here. Got him too. Oh, his goggles look intact. Let's see the last picture he took. The infiltrator. It's back. Baron was right. Commander! Talk to me. They're dead. Everything turned out the way you said it would. Copy that. Get out of there. We need to figure out our next move. Let's meet at the docks. Get there as soon as possible. Over and out. Why would she give out our location?
Plasma storage destroyed. Good to hear, Rivers. Now proceed with your mission. Still alive? Good. 
Apparently Skynet's got a real hard-on for you. So we figured why not use you as bait? Aren't you afraid that Skynet will bring a lot of firepower if they know we're both here? Afraid? No. Prepared for that eventuality? Yes. We've got eyes on the ambush site from every angle. If anyone shows up, it means they were listening. What if it's one of our guys, or just a scavenger? Too bad. We can't have anyone or anything sabotage our plan. Not this time. This time? We were very close once before. For years, we've been preparing for the final attack. But it took just one man to fuck everything up. That day, Perry... Our previous field commander died, and I inherited control of South Division. Since then, I've been making sure that no one fucks up again. We've got movement. Take position. What do you have? A hooded man's walking down the street. Might be a scavenger. Rivers, you saw him. Is it the same model? Is it the infiltrator? I can't tell. We're waiting for your signal. I think that might be it. You think? Good enough for me. Cease fire! Cease fire! Target down! I repeat, target down! Go check him! Eyes on the target. Proceed with caution. Is he dead? What the fuck? It's the target! Can't get away. Fire at will! He's in the open! It's in the open! It's a fucking machine! It's backed against the wall! We've got it now! What the fuck? Everyone on me! It's carrying a second generation plasma rifle! You won't fucking die! Shoot! One ugly son of a bitch!
Commander. We got it. We finally got it. Good job, Rivers. Stay there. We're on our way. There was no doubt anymore. Skynet had created a cybernetic organism. It was designed to blur the line between a man and a machine. People started to think that there were Terminators amongst us, wolves in sheep's clothes. Some of us left, even though we hadn't seen any other infiltrators yet. Or at least, we didn't think we had. And that fear of not knowing was what turned the tide of this war. That night, Skynet won. Uh, I still have to run some tests, so f for now I would say no. We need some more time, Connor. I know you don't want to hear this, Commander, but if there's one person who can help us, it's Dr. Mac. Mac? It, we don't even know if he's alive. He is. He's in the Hollywood Hills. We knew a time would come when we'd need him again, so we've kept an eye on him. Wait. You've been watching him without telling you me? let your emotions cloud your judgment before, Commander. That's why I decided that Mac's whereabouts were no longer this your concern. This is bullshit. Concern. He can't just magically fix all of our problems. He's a man, not a god. A man that That's makes enough, mistakes. That's enough, Commander. You know what happened last time. He's the reason Perry's dead. I said that's enough. Sergeant Rivers? Yes, sir. Techcom believes that being marked for termination is a badge of honor. A sign that we're doing something right. We wear it proudly. And knowing you're wearing such a badge, Rivers, is all I need to trust you with handling this mission. Commander Baron will fill you in on the details. Good luck, soldier. Over and out. Looks like you're going to Hollywood Hills. Dr. Edwin Mack is the one who taught us how to use Skynet's weapons, so there's a chance he can do it again. Take him that second-generation plasma rifle and see if he's able to reprogram it. If we want to use Skynet's weapons, we need to bypass their encryption lockouts. How will I find him? He's obsessed with surveillance. So when you get there, look for any cameras, biometric sensors, or any other tech stuff. He should be around. That's it. What do you need? Was Mac the one whose drone you smashed? Yes. Yes, it was. I've never told this to anyone, but before I met Mac and Perry, I was wandering alone. Didn't have a map, so I drew one myself. The first people I came across were two guys, old enough to remember Judgment Day. We camped out together. They gave me advice, we shared some stories. Sounds nice, right? A little too good to be true. It was. I was too naive to notice it back then. When I woke up, all my things were gone, including my map. There I was, lost in the desert. Thirst and hunger. I knew I was gonna die. I passed out with my face in the sand. But next thing, I was lying in a bed, bathed and wearing clean clothes. You're lucky someone found you. Someone did find me. Too bad it was Skynet. Through the window, I saw thousands of Terminators. First, I thought it was a work camp. But it was something else. A Skynet research facility. They kept me alive, but I didn't know why. I thought I was the only human there. But after a while, someone came into my cell. A man. Well-dressed, clean-shaven. You want to take a guess who that was? An infiltrator. In a way. He was a traitor to his race. Bastard was selling every piece of knowledge the machines didn't have. In return, they gave him everything he wanted. When he was done stuffing his face with food, he had another request. He wanted a whore. It lasted months, 
until I got to wrap a towel around his neck and make his eyes pop. You don't want to see people for what they really are. I've seen their true face. That traitor, those two guys in the desert, Mac. They all showed it to me. It's not pretty. The truth is, the only reason I fight for the resistance is because I despise people just a little less than the machines. Um, anything I should know about Dr. Mac before I leave? Only that he can't be trusted and he's highly manipulative. So you need to stay cautious. Sure, let's trust someone who gets called Dr. Death. That won't bite us in the ass. In the meantime, I'll see what I can learn from the new CPU we acquired from that infiltrator. This could be the breakthrough that we've all been waiting for. I need to concentrate, so please don't disturb me. Jacob, do you have a minute? Of course. I've heard that you're going to Hollywood Hills. Well, with Baron yelling like that, the whole shelter heard. He wanted me to tell you if I needed anything, so here it is. When you get to Hollywood Hills, could you stop by my old house? It's near the Griffith Park tennis courts. I wonder if Peter went there and left something for me. I know he'd be stupid to go there since now it's behind the Annihilation line, but then again, he was always full of stupid ideas. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Look at him. He never talks to anyone. He just sits there. I bet he's one of those machines. Jacob, I didn't see you there. Is everything okay? You seem far away. Nothing can get past you, can it? I've been thinking about the day we met. I never told you how we really ended up there. You can tell me anything. I know I can. That's why you're the first person I'm telling this to. That day, loud hammering woke me up. When I came downstairs, I saw my father nailing the window shut. Through the crack, I saw them coming. Hundreds of metal heads and their red eyes. Even though they're just empty shells, I could feel the hate radiating from them. What did you do? I made Patrick stay upstairs and went back to talk to my father. We argued for a minute or two and I tried to pull him away from the window. He pushed me away. I tried it again, but he shoved me. This time I fell. I didn't recognize him as he was reaching for a shotgun. He said, I shouldn't worry about the machines. They wouldn't hurt us. I don't even remember how. But the gun was already in my hands. I closed my eyes and went someplace else. Didn't even hear the shot. I didn't hear Patrick's steps, either. He saw you? He did. He was staring at me like I was a stranger. He didn't scream or cry, he just stared. I threw the gun away, grabbed Patrick, and tried not to notice the hole in my father's unmoving chest. As we ran, I could hear them coming, so we found somewhere to hide. Then you came. I wanted to tell someone about all this, but I was afraid to. I'm glad you did. I am too. 
We talk a lot about how heartless the machines are. And I started to think that maybe I was too. I probably would have convinced myself of that if it wasn't for you keeping me sane. Thank you for everything. I never thought I would find a friend in times like these. Where are you going? I'm going out scavenging. Don't worry. I'm past thinking about running away. Knowing how much you'd miss me made me not want to leave. Where's Patrick? He's getting ready. I'm taking him with me. I figure it's time for him to see what's out there. Is it, is it, is it true? Do you look human now? Well, what's with the dogs? Uh, they've been like that ever. You're alive! No time for that. Do whatever it takes to get everyone out of that shelter. Do you understand? They're not safe there. What? Why? God damn it! What does he mean? Get everyone out of the shelter? Dr. Mac, is that you? The Resistance needs your help. Mac! It would be a shame to lose that camera. Now, why would you do that? Because we don't have time for this. Come out here. Skynet has developed a new Terminator model, the Infiltrator. You've seen one already? We've captured one, and we need your help. Are you there? How do I know you're not an infiltrator? You've seen them. You know how incredibly lifelike they are, so you should understand my concerns. Head up that hill. If you want me to help you, you have to take a test for me. Test? Yes, to determine whether you're a Terminator or not. And be careful, I'm watching you.
trying to fight you? Very clever way to make me think that you're not one of them. Unfortunately for you, I'm not that easily fooled. We don't have time for any of this. Just tell me where you are. I am not a robot. Living tissue would make you a cybernetic organism, not a robot. Words have meaning. Conversations between human beings would be a lot easier if we all... ...just trusted each other and understood the deeper meaning of what we said. Keep that in mind during this test. while now, all eight of them. Well, I guess with you in there, that makes it nine.
Too bad there's no water in that pool. I'd have you jump in and see if you float. Wait, that's a different test. Skynet completely took over this place. They could do something about that. Good. Now wait here for a moment. My patience is wearing thin. Why am I even here? On the stage, you mean? Um, because I wanted you to recite a poem. That's right, that's why I got you on this stage, to invoke the fear of public speaking in you. This will allow me to check your emotional response. Very important in these sort of tests. So, if you could go ahead and recite a poem. In the shadows where we live, Searching for compassion. Oh, you're actually doing it? I wasn't really expecting that. So, you've been taught to obey orders. I see. Oh, now wait. Be quiet. They regularly patrol this area. Don't let them see you. So you know I'm not a Terminator? Of course I do. They are way better shots than you. Then why are you making me do all this? <sighs> because I want you to grab something for me before I help you. Turn left when you leave the theater. There you'll find a plane crash site. My spider scout should be stuck somewhere around. Just grab it and bring it back to me in one piece.
Where would I find a locker nearby?
That's the locker room. I hope it's not you, Peter. Poor Aaron.
I've got it. Good job. I'm in my vault in one of the buildings up the street. Meet me there.
This is it. I know it looks tempting, but please do not destroy that plasma. Sorry for making you run around like that. But because of the recent increase in Terminator patrols, I couldn't get to that spider scout myself. Can I see it? Thank you. I have a gift as a token of my appreciation. While you're out looking for my spider scout, I used some leftover parts to make a new radio for you. I've been picking up your signal for a while now, and I imagine that Skynet has as well. So, I've made it harder to decipher. You won't have to worry about them eavesdropping. You've been listening, so you know why I'm here. Yes. Now, let me see that gun. What a beauty. I've got to tell you, if Skynet wasn't so gung-ho about killing everything... <laughs> What's interesting about it is that the matter inside is far more condensed. That way it releases more energy on discharge, dealing much more damage. And also its plasma blast is violent, so that's different. Can you bypass the encryption lockout so we can use it? Alvin couldn't. Alvin couldn't bypass an egg timer if his life depended on it. I'll do it, but it's not that simple. First, you'll have to bring me Skynet's latest security codes. Security codes? They will allow us to access Skynet's mainframe. But they change them regularly, so I need you to connect to any HK unit and download the newest security codes. To do that, you'll need my code reader. When I was... excused from the shelter, they made me leave all my equipment behind. Alvin should have my code reader. Okay, is that everything? As far as the security codes go, yes. Then I'm moving out. Actually, I've got a question about that infiltrator that you have there. Is it intact? Or more specifically, its neural net CPU? I've been hacking Skynet's units and I'm noticing similarities in their patterns. I think I'm ready to reprogram the CPU from that infiltrator. It's more powerful than any other. Should I ask Baron about that, too? No, 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 she can't know about it. She would not approve. I know how this sounds, but you need to steal it for me. What? I'm the only one that can reprogram that chip. For some reason, Skynet has started to learn at a geometric rate. We need to prepare ourselves for whatever's coming, and I believe that having an infiltrator on our side will give us the advantage. Just think about it. Commander. Rivers, what's the status? Max alive. He will help us, but he needs a device he left at the shelter. All right, we can do that. Report to me when you get back. Over and out. I have to say, you're doing quite well without my help. What are you doing here? You have to get the ones you care about to leave the shelter. They'll be in great danger if you don't do what I say. But remember, Jacob, that has to stay between us. Why? Because things need to play out the way they're supposed to, that's why. I have been here from the beginning. Each of your friends already knows the reason they need to leave. You just have to remind them. Can I tell Commander Baron? No, she won't allow it. Then she will start to question you and keep you away from your missions. That cannot happen. 
Who the hell are you? That, I can't tell you. It could change the choices that you make in the future, and we can't have that. So whatever happens, you can't know my identity. Not yet, at least. Do you know anything about a CPU that Mac wants me to steal? I do. If hacked, we could take over an infiltrator. Dr. Mac is capable of doing that. I'm not so sure if Alvin can. I think you should steal it. I think I'm more confused than I was before. Just stay focused. We'll see each other soon. It's quiet. You know, quiet's good. Quiet means you're not getting shot. Rivers, DN four six eight nine zero. Welcome back, Sergeant. Hey, Jacob. Did you see Jennifer on your way here? Isn't she here? She hasn't come back yet, but I'm sure she's fine. About Hollywood Hills, how did it go? I've been to Hollywood Hills and found your old house. Did you? Your husband left for Mexico. What are you talking about? I found this letter in your house. It's from Peter. It says that he's heading there to look for you. He couldn't find me when I was right under his nose. How's he gonna find me in Mexico? What a sweet fool. You should go look for him. Ah, you're right. I have to find him before he hurts himself. Baron's not gonna like that, but she never scared me. Thank you for finding him for me, Jacob. Don't touch that! That's how things get lost! Have you heard that Dr. Mac's still alive? Yeah. If I ever get my hands on him, I swear to God. Huh, you're back. How is Hollywood Hills? Crawling with Terminators. And what about Mac? How's he? Is he compliant? Fine, but he needs Skynet security codes if we want him to reprogram that plasma rifle. Fair enough. Talk to Alvin about that. Okay, I will. Did Max say anything else? No, that's all he said. Okay. Talk to Alvin about those security codes and then come back to my quarters. I'll tell them to let you in. And one more thing, talk to Ryan. That buggy's been sitting there broken for too long. See if something's going on. I've got a suspicion that he's hiding something from me. Alvin. Huh? Uh, you know what? I'm actually jealous of Mac. He's out there alone. No one's bothering him. If I had those working conditions, I would be just as successful as him. He told me that I'll need some sort of a device to download Skynet's security codes from an HK. Do you have it? Yes. 
about that. Um, do you remember that day in downtown? I do. It was very traumatic. And because of that, I may have forgotten to bring back some things. Including that device. And the quantum battery which powers it. You won't be able to use it without it. So I guess I'm off downtown. Yes, you do that. Don't touch that! That's how things get lost. Hey, Jacob, what's happening? Baron wanted me to ask about that buggy. Is there a problem? Yeah, she's been nagging me to fix the electronics in this piece of shit for a while now. Do you think you can help me with it? Why are you asking me? You're the mechanic. Listen, I'm good with tools. You give me a car with a gasoline engine, I'll make it run. But this electronic shit? I don't know anything about that. Hell, most of my life, I live without electricity. Why not tell her? She won't let me cherry pick my own responsibilities, you know that. She'll throw me right out of here if she finds out. That's why I need your help. Quartermaster will give you all the parts to tell you what to do. Just think about it. I'm here to pick up parts for that buggy. Wasn't Ryan supposed to take care of that? Baron specifically asked me to keep an eye on him. Can he really fix it himself? No, he's been lying so that Baron would let him stay. Uh, she knew something was up all along. I'm going to report him, you know? I know. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? What the fuck, Rivers? What you think would happen, huh? Baron's kicking me out. That what you wanted? I'm a dead man. God damn it! 
I thought I told you, I can't work with so much noise. I need absolute silence, so please stop that. I swear I should just join. I forgot. What was I supposed to bring? You know what? You're lucky. No one will ever mistake you for a machine. What do you mean? Those look like vibes to you? Uh, Ryan said they were. Well, here goes nothing. Commander. Welcome to the luxury part of the shelter. But hopefully we won't have to much longer. Thanks to people like us, this war will end soon. You proved that you'll do whatever it takes no matter the cost. And so will I. Don't think your efforts go unnoticed. You know, I killed a man long before I killed my first machine. And was hurt by a man long before machines hurt me. Apart from plasma burns, I've got man-made scars underneath these tattoos that I'll never forget. On the good days, they don't hurt, and I feel like this world is worth fighting for. On the bad days, they make me want to quit, give up and run like everyone else. But we're so close. Skynet's almost finished. So you can understand I can't run. I need your help, Jacob. I need you to get rid of Mac. He's unpredictable. He sabotaged our mission and killed our men before. I cannot let happen again. I need you to kill him as soon as he reprograms that rifle. You look shocked. But I think I can find a way to persuade you. If you're into it, that is. I am. That's what I thought. It needs to be done, Jacob. It needs to be done. Commander.
I'm here. Good. I marked the location of Max Code Reader and the battery pack on your map. Let me know when you find them. Shouldn't be here. Skynet's right around the corner. Yeah? Show me a corner Skynet's not around. You can leave now, because I'm not opening this door for anyone or anything. I'm just here to help. You want to help me? Fine. Go to my hideout at the metro station and bring back my transmitter. Then you'll help me. All right, I can do that.
I got it. You thought you could fool me? I know you're one of those things. You're not getting away, you motherfucker. What? me.
follow to the parking lot. Look for a red van. The code reader should be inside. How do you know I'm getting closer? There are still plenty of resistance sensors in the area. I see everything. I'll be your eye in the sky. Great. All I need is the battery. Alvin, I'm halfway there. Well, that's not quite true. Once you get the code reader working, you still have to find an HK to connect to. But don't worry, I'm sure they call them hunter killers just for intimidation.
I've got the code reader working. Good. Now go look for an HK. During the attack, our team heavily damaged an HK tank. Hey, that's your safest bet, but be careful. The area is filled with Terminators. If I were you, I'd sneak past them. that laser gate with the code reader. Now proceed with caution. That's something Baron would say, right? Skynet antenna up ahead. Looks like they set up an outpost here. Should I engage? That's not your main objective, but I'll leave that up to you.
Systems destroyed. Affirmative. Did I use that correctly? We've got a problem. That HK is still functional. I can't get near. You'll need a rocket launcher to even make a dent in that thing. You better find one. Got it. I'm trying to analyze.
I've got the codes. All right, then let's get right to it. Please insert stolen security codes now. Strike a key when ready. And it's done. Like they say, easy money. That's it? With the proper equipment, it only takes a moment. 
We can fight Skynet with our own weapons. I believe that goes for that infiltrator as well. The first prototype just came out a couple of days ago. Imagine what happens if they become mass-produced. We need to hurry before that happens. That infiltrator has been after us for more than just a couple of days. What do you mean? It's been following me for months. But that simply can't be. That prototype has been out for mere days. It's the same model that destroyed Pacific Division. But I'm connected to Skynet's mainframe and I can see their plans. I'm telling you that what you're saying is not possible. Unless... Oh my god. They will do it. They will finish the TDE. Finish what? TDE, Time Displacement Equipment. For all intents and purposes, it's a time machine. A time machine? Yes, a time machine. You go in, you pick a date, you press a button, and just like that you'll be watching your younger self learning to tie your shoelaces. You know, time travel. Skynet's been working on TDE for a while now. I've been monitoring its progress, but it's still not ready yet. So how could they send anyone back if it's not ready? They didn't, but they will. Don't you see? In one alternative future, they finished TDE and sent a Terminator back to our times. That has to be the one you saw. You couldn't have seen it otherwise. It didn't exist yet. That would explain why they suddenly started to learn at such a geometric rate. This is big. This is really big. So, if it's done, then what the fuck can we do now? We can still fight for this future. Our future. You could stop Skynet before they finish building time displacement equipment and send any more Terminators back. I'm forwarding everything I've learned to Connor. He needs to know. And you go report back to Baron. Speaking of Baron... Uh, I got that ship for you. Is it any different from the others? Is it any different? Of course it is! Its CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. It's been updated to incorporate infiltrating techniques. Thus, its processing power exceeds any other chip. This could be exactly what we need to win this war, Jacob. I have to warn you. Baron sent me to kill you. If she finds out that I didn't, she'll send someone who will. Thank you for telling me. If what you're saying is true, I don't have much time. As soon as I'm done packing, I'll be on my way. I've already sent all the blueprints and access codes to Connor. Grab that plasma behind you. And go see Baron.
Commander. I'm here. Is the thing with Mac taken care of? It is. But I have some news for you. Go ahead. Here's the man of the hour. Sergeant, are you taking a tour with us? Repeat it back to me. Know your target and what's behind it. And what else? God. They gave me a rifle? I don't even know how to use one. They said it's hot, but it doesn't seem hot to me at all. Rivers. Just when you thought shit couldn't get any more crazy, this happens. So what now? With the infiltrators coming out and news of a fucking time machine, Connor wants to finish this war fast. Are we prepared? Nowhere near. That's why an all-out attack is our only option. Alvin managed to locate Skynet's central core through the hijacked satellite. It turns out it's right under our nose. It's in the basement of the old Griffith Observatory. So we're moving out? You are. Connor wants me to stay here to coordinate the attack. And his North Division is heading to stop Skynet from sending anything through the time displacement equipment. So this is it? It does seem that way. You better get all your things sorted. Take your time. You're leaving in a couple of hours. Dismissed. Jacob? You're moving out? I am. What about you? I'm part of a scavenging team now, but Commander Baron gave us an order to get back to the shelter. If you see Jennifer, can you tell her that? Okay. Uh, where is she? Last time I saw her, she was upstairs. Nice view. How did you find me? Patrick told me you might be somewhere around here. It's my thinking spot. Is he worried? No, he seems happy. How did he do on your first scavenging hunt together? Well, at first he was excited just to be outside. A little too excited. Some drones spotted him. But I did it. I managed to protect him. Nothing happened. And from that point on, he understood how dangerous a scavenger's life can be. See, you'll make a great scavenging team. Yeah, I'm starting to see it that way. And because of that, I was thinking... About leaving? <laughs> I don't have any secrets from you, do I? Yeah, about leaving. With Patrick. 
I think you should leave. What? Are you serious? I, I thought you'd be the last person to encourage me to go. What about what you said earlier? What changed? Things are different now. It's not safe here anymore, and I think you should go. Jacob, I don't know what to say. You know that your opinion matters to me the most. To be honest, you're the only thing keeping me here. Well, that's it then. I guess I'm going. You're always looking out for me. Thank you for that. I know you're moving out soon, but there's something I want to say. Regardless of what happens later, I hope that we'll find each other. Thank you for always being there for me. I'm lucky to have someone like you. And I'm lucky to have you. I hoped you'd say that. You know what? I'll stay here just a little while longer. Tell Patrick not to worry. I'll be back soon. I'll do that. You ready to move out? No, not yet. You ready to move out? I am. All right, let's do this. Thirty years ago, the machines decided to wipe out all of humanity because they feared that we were a threat to their existence. Today, we make their fear come true. Sergeant Rivers, you were requested by John Connor to lead the Alpha Team. You will be responsible for carrying out the attack on the location of Skynet's central core. We will create a diversion to lure out any HK aerials patrolling the area. That should give you some time to breathe. Taking out Skynet's ground forces, that's on you. Remember, the goal is to destroy Skynet's central core, at whatever cost. Good luck out there. Dismissed. This is us. Let's move out. We're two minutes out from the observatory. 
As soon as we get past that barrier, expect Skynet to show up. Now stay focused! Silverfish, 12 o'clock. Neutralized. Let's keep moving. Metals ahead. Nice shot! Shooting! More of them! More rain coming! Suppressing fire! Hang in there. Another infiltrator? No, he's with us. Took you a while. How did you know we were coming? I thought you'd know by now. I know more than you think. Better prepare yourself. It's quiet. Too quiet. Spread out! Focus on that HK! 
This is it. Follow me. Central core is downstairs. How do you know? I've been here before. I've seen it. Skynet's finished. It's not here. The central core. It's supposed to be right here. They knew we were coming. They moved it. It's a trap. A fucking trap. 
We have to move. Those missiles are headed this way. Wait! If we triggered the attack, it means that this place is still connected to Skynet's mainframe. If we trace where the signal's coming from, we'll know the Central Core's actual location. How could they know we were coming? When Skynet was about to lose the war, they sent an infiltrator back in time. They must have warned them about this attack. How do you know all this? Because I went back after that infiltrator. Yes! I've got the coordinates. Let's go! All of this will make sense to you soon, but right now we need to go! Commander, Central Core, it's not here. It was an ambush. Commander! Can't die here. Get up! Baron, I've got the coordinates. Can you hear me? Where the hell are you? Where is everyone? Commander! Rivers, you're alive! What happened here? An infiltrator got in. Brought lots of friends with him. We didn't stand a chance. Since they didn't go offline, I assume we did not destroy Skynet Central Core either? No. No, we didn't. It was an ambush. They moved it before we got there. So this is it? We lost? We lost this goddamn war? Not yet. What do you mean? I got the Central Core's real coordinates. You have? I've got to learn not to doubt you anymore, Rivers. We need to call Connor. He may still be able to stop Skynet. Forget it. I couldn't get him on the radio for hours. You need to find him. You need to give him those coordinates. First, let's get you out of here. No. You don't have time for this. You have to leave me here. I can't. You're not going to disobey my final order, are you? Before you leave, I've got a confession to make. There's a reason I wasn't so keen on you from the beginning. Remember that list of people Skynet marked for termination? I lied. I told you that you were number three. The truth is you're number two. Just behind Connor. You took my spot. And for the life of me, I couldn't understand why. 
But now I know. They're coming. You need to leave now. Use a vent in the command room to sneak past them. And then find Connor and give him those coordinates. Don't worry about them. If they come here, I'll just reason with them. I still have a couple of magazines full of arguments. Now go. Good luck, Jacob.
The stranger died in that ambush trying to protect me. He came from the future to save my life, and I don't even know his identity. But thanks to his sacrifice, I managed to escape with the Central Core's true location. When I got back to the shelter, I realized that getting that information cost the life of many others as well. I headed out to find John Connor and his North Division to take part in the last all-out attack. Anyone receiving me? This is Sergeant Jacob Rivers, DN 46890. Anyone out there? Skynet got to them. If anyone's hearing this, please respond. Is anyone else out there? God damn it. He's wearing a resistance uniform. Who did you kill to get that, you filthy machine? No, no! Wait, he's human! Sorry about that, Sergeant. The infiltrators took some of our key positions, so we're extra cautious. If we'd known that you were joining us in the North Division, that would have never happened. You know who I am. We all do, Sergeant Rivers. John Connor told us about you. He said you'd come and bring those coordinates. How did he know I'd have them? That you'll have to ask him yourself. He's waiting for you upstairs. Are you 
he's the only survivor from Baron's division. That's him. The one Connor's been talking about. Sergeant. Commander. Sergeant Rivers. I've been expecting you. I took the liberty of collecting the Central Corps' coordinates you brought us. I hope you don't mind. N not at all. Are we preparing to attack the Corps? I've sent a unit to do that. We're getting ready to strike the time displacement equipment. Very soon Skynet will realize that they're losing this war. So they'll try to send infiltrators back in time to prevent that from happening. Do we stand a chance? Thanks to the security codes that Mac provided, we've been able to seize control of an HK tank for the first time. It should give us the advantage against Skynet's defense grid. We'll smash it once and for all. I understand that all this might be confusing to you, so if you have any questions, now's the time to ask them. How did you know that the Central Corps wasn't at the Observatory? Understanding the changing nature of time travel made me anticipate the most unexpected events. So when I learned from a mutual friend of ours that a Terminator was sent back to our time, I suspected the future I was told would change. What do you mean? When that infiltrator connected to Skynet, it warned them about the attack on the Observatory. They had to move the Central Corps, otherwise they would lose again. Unfortunately, the intel we received came at a cost. But if there was any other way, I would have taken it gladly. Is the stranger. In one alternative future, we reached the time displacement equipment and sent our soldiers back in time. Like always, the mission was to assure the safety of the people Skynet marked for termination, one of whom was you. Knowing the importance of your mission, many volunteered to go back, so I took it upon myself to choose a protector from among them, and the one I chose was you. You are the one you call stranger. Why am I targeted for termination? You're the one who discovered the true location of the Central Core. You're the messenger of the intel that could lead to Skynet's downfall. I'm sure you'll figure out the rest when the time comes. But right now, I want you to get ready. Tonight, soldier, we stop Skynet. One twenty-four are on their way to the Central Core. Then we better get ready. Take whatever you need, Sergeant. Sergeant Rivers, it's time. I want you to take a team of my soldiers and fight your way to Skynet's defense grid. We have to destroy those turrets to get to the TDE, but don't worry. 
We'll provide the support. It's in your hands now, Rivers. Follow me. Commander. Commander. See it. Is secured. All right, Rivers. Continue the offensive. We're preparing to send in the tank. Watch out! Zero in on that T-47.
clear. That's good to hear, Sergeant. The HK tank just went online. You've got to keep going. Ariel, down it! Perfect timing. T-47 ahead. Two of them. Sergeant, I got a visual on the defense grid turrets.
Alpha 124. They've located the central core. It was at the coordinates you gave. They'll strike soon. Continue with the offensive.
Commander, what's going on? The 124 destroyed the Central Core and stopped Skynet. So is the war over? For some of us, yes. But just before we destroyed the Core, Skynet managed to send three Terminators back in time. The only thing in our power now is to send the Protectors to meet them. Protectors? The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. The first Protector has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. By killing her, Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? A Terminator made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. A single prototype, created by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. Do you have that CPU that Mac reprogrammed? I do. You want to send a Terminator to protect your younger self? Won't you be afraid? I will be. Then, there's the matter of the Infiltrator that was sent after you. The war can end for you right now, but the question is, are you willing to sacrifice your future to protect your past? By being here, you've already proven that this is not beyond your capabilities. I'll leave the decision up to you. Will I be able to fix my past mistakes? I always believe that the future's not set. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. You do have the power to change it, and protect the ones you care about. So, what will it be then? I'll do it. I'll go back. I knew you would. Let's hope I won't get killed this time around. Let us begin then. John Connor prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man to go back to 1984. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. The second one was not a man but a Terminator. Using the chip Dr. Mac reprogrammed, we took control of a single infiltrator unit, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995 to intercept the sole T-1000 prototype and protect a young John Connor. I couldn't have someone risk their life to protect me. That's why I decided to go myself. It gave me a chance to right the wrongs of my actions. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. I lied to Erin about her husband to make her leave the shelter. I saved her life. But at what cost? Was it my place to intervene and give her false hope? Ryan was kicked out of the shelter because of me. I hope that one day I will have a chance to explain to him why I did that. Jennifer and Patrick left before the attack. I'm glad I convinced her to leave. I hope that our paths will cross sometime soon. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons. And 
And as for me, it was time to start over. Listen to me if you want to live. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at GBHBL.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.